Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly, oh no, these are your weekend love messages. These are going from the 11th until the 13th. I thought we'd do something different again. Um, we're going to look at your love situation. We're going to clarify. Um, we'll do some romance angel and we're going to pull a moonology card as well. Now, don't forget, if you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details on in the comment section below. I don't know why I've lost my tongue at the moment like someone's tongue tied what's going on with you virgo someone's not communicating clearly so i've just lost all my words it's really random if you need a personal reading all of those details and now i'm getting a croaky throat <clears throat> all those details are down in the description box below these will be general love messages though so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week that's okay if it's not resonating with you this week just hit that notification button hit the subscribe button and that will make sure that the next set of messages that come out which will be the weeklies um you don't miss out on your message if it is for you um also i would ask that you do hit that like button because it takes a second and it helps them this message get out to other virgo people specifically so you'll be helping your your people all right virgo something's going on with communication someone's not speaking someone's not saying they're speaking their truth someone's unable to speak up or feels like they're unable to speak up because i am struggling over here let's get some cards out all right, love messages, please, for Virgo 11th to the 13th of March. Four cards. What is happening, Virgo? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's that Ten of Swords. Now, that came out for Sagittarius in the first position as well. So you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Wow. Okay, so this is a situation, two tens. This is a situation that has maybe recently come to an end doesn't have to be um but it was a very painful ending a very painful ending here with the ten of swords um and i feel like you fought till the bitter end because you can see in this particular deck the 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 person who's been attacked there he's holding a sword so he did what he could to fight for this um but with the ten of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> again my throat is coming up funny um this may be an end to a long-term relationship a marriage um, possibly a divorce um there's definitely family that's impacted here too oh yeah wow that just flipped out on its own to judgment okay so again with this particular judgment card it's very much about divine intervention as well i was literally just having this conversation with taurus um and decisions that are kind of mm, pushed on us um but in this one, there's almost like you need to look for guidance from your spiritual, whatever you believe in, whatever you will identify with from a spiritual point of view. Um, you need to look to that for guidance on what to do next and how to make those decisions. One more, please. Um, because I feel like you're a little bit overwhelmed as well. Yeah, three of pentacles. You're, you're struggling to rebuild here. I feel like for some of you, you've lost a lot of friends as well. You've got the nine of pentacles in reverse. You may be kind of struggling to learn to be on your own again, um, feeling a bit overwhelmed with being independent or on your own again. There is a loss of friendship here for some of you. So I don't know whether if in this separation or in this divorce, you've lost friends as well. Um, clarify that three of pentacles, please. But I think for some of you, way too many, for some of you, it's um, interestingly on top of that batch that just fell out was your card. Um, for some of you, it's also you're struggling to know how to rebuild your life. Um, and you're going to get this weekend. That's what you're being called to do. So this weekend is where you need to ask for guidance, meditate, get, um, turn to your spiritual advisors, as it were, to get the kind of get the answers that you're looking for three of pentacles two please yeah there's a lot of heartbreak here there's a lot of grief there's been a huge loss now for some of you, you may have actually lost someone um at, who's now passed over yeah wow ace of cups in reverse and the five of cups oh this is hurting me virgo this is making me want to cry it's real it's hurting my heart like i feel like someone's squeezing my heart 
um tell me about oh that's an extra yeah okay so we've got this king of rods in reverse someone wasn't honest with you um someone's made a lot of promises that they never stuck to and they just were totally unreliable um tell me about the ten of pentacles please so there may have been a broken promise with the it might be representing a broken promise in terms of your vows you feel like your vows are broken you look at this three of three of swords wow two more please for that ten of pentacles in reverse so this is a big heartbreak you are going through a significant change um, in your circumstances and i think that you're learning how to deal with that yeah learning how to release in the long run this situation is actually going to be a lot less you're going to be better off because what this is saying to me is although there's heartbreak here now you've got the queen of rods because she's moving forward right so as you move forward this situation will actually get easier with the nine of swords in reverse um, the anxiety that you're feeling will, and the sleepless nights and then the feeling of this is just a nightmare that I can't get out of, that actually will start to dissipate, particularly as you start to turn um, to, again, whatever spiritual guidance you normally look to, be it spirit guides, be it God, be it Allah, be it, it doesn't matter what it is, but it's whatever your, whatever you align to in your faith you need to turn to that because that's where the decisions are going to be made. That's where the answers are going to come to. Um, and I can see that there's this progression here. So let's go to that, please. The judgment card. Just one for judgment. Now, remember, if you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details down in the description box below. I can't make this up. Wheel of Fortune came out just then. Um, you know, this is the this turning to this judgment card and i've just explained what that represents in this particular reading that's what's going to move you forward in life that's where you're going to get clarity that's where you're going to get fortune things are going to be gifted to you as you ask for them um, the things that you need to move forward so when you're feeling like you can't rebuild or you don't know where to begin to rebuild because you're heartbroken and you feel like there's no love in your life turn back to this judgment card because they're going to give you everything you need with this wheel of fortune to move forward okay just one for the ten of swords please yeah if you need a personal reading for your particular circumstances you can find all of those details down in the description box below you've got the six of cups here this is um you may have actually known this person since childhood or you've known them for a really long time um or it's someone that's come back and you've reconciled with before, um, but you're not doing, you're not going around on that. This the, the karmic cycle has ended because this wheel of fortune is in the upright, and you're moving forward this way. Um, I do feel like there may have been children involved, and there's been a lot of hurt. Excuse me, around that as well. Um, let's get a romance angel. wedding yeah see there's something to do with marriage here either a marriage has ended or there was an engagement that was ended or you thought that that they're you know maybe they're marrying someone else but there's definitely long-term commitment involved here um just moonology one please oh we're getting two surrender to the divine I can't make this up. I say this every single reading, especially with this deck. This deck is just so amazing. It literally will will pull out and speak to the exact cards that I've just spoken about. This is what I'm talking about, surrendering to the divine. This is divine intervention. Now, divine can be whatever you align to. Again, I'm not going to call out particular religions or beliefs or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's what you spiritually believe in your spiritual convictions. It's saying surrender to the divine so the divine can give you what you need to move forward, to rebuild. Um, <laughs> and again, take time to breathe out. You're going through a huge transformative change here, Virgo. Um, and I feel like you're not really talking to anyone about this either. And maybe that's why I felt like my throat chakra was blocked. Um, 
and my I, my tongue was tied. I was overwhelmed, like my head was foggy. So yeah, definitely take some time to breathe out. Let like, give it to God. Give it to it doesn't have to be God, but give it to you know the universe to deal with, um, and they will give you back what you need. Definitely. All right, Virgo, that's what I've got for you this weekend. Um, don't forget to look out, hit that notification button and the subscribe button for the weekly readings. Don't forget to hit that like button because there absolutely may be another Virgo who is in this situation if it's not you, um, or maybe if it is you, but another one who's also in this situation who needs to see this, hitting that like button will help them get this message. Um, that would be fantastic. I'll be talking to you all very soon. Hang in there this weekend, Virgo, um, and hopefully we'll get a better read for you next week. Bye.